What's up, Saggy? This is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of May. This is for my Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I'll put the, I put these out every two weeks, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, guys, I do offer personal readings, and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first two weeks of May. Any love messages for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first two weeks of May? What can you tell my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first two weeks of May? I just saw Ace of Wands, Saggy, passionate new beginnings. Let's have a look. Page of Swords, okay, Analysis, Judgment card, Temperance card, Eight of Wands, Messages, Communication, Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Okay, Sag, there's someone eyeing you out, they want to, um, they want some kind of a reconciliation with you, so this could be someone where you're back and forth a little bit, um, Two of Pentacles, maybe you're weighing up your options right now, it's someone that you've been connected to for some time with the temperance card and the judgment card is decision so you are feeling like a call to make a decision you're analyzing the situation with the page of swords this is also someone that could be heavily um, observing you keeping tabs on you and the eight of wands means there's going to be messages news communication and the six of cups it's someone that you share a history with okay so it could be an ex or it could be someone that you have built memories with you have a past with um, the Eight of Cups to me, it's either, and the Two of Pentacles, it's either that you're back and forth with this person um, and now you're sort of, I don't know, do I just want to walk away altogether? Um, you know, or you're, um, you did leave this person behind um, and now, you know, this person's coming in and you're going to need to weigh up the options, okay? You could actually have something else, okay? Catch my drift. Um, so the two of pentacles, so weighing up your options, um, whether or not to leave this behind altogether. You could, um, yeah, the judgment card is about second chances and the temperance card to me means that this is a card of healing. So it could be that there's something that needs to be healed between you and this person. So this is like a reconciliation energy, six of cups. Um, tell me a little bit more about the temperance wheel of fortune. Okay, so there's a turn happening between you and this person and the King of Swords. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person wants to communicate with you. Um, they wanna communicate with you and I think there's a sense of wanting to be honest with you. I've got the Seven of Swords here. So it could be that this person has, um, has been underhanded or was a bit of a sneak and I feel like there's a sense of accountability, the judgment card, they wanna come forward. They wanna speak a truth to you. Um, they are feeling like you're very much connected to their destiny. As I said, I think this person shares a history with you, memories with you, and I think they want to heal. Um, now, you'll have to make a decision, Sag, but tell me a little bit more about the Seven of Swords, Six of Swords. I feel that they want to move away from drama and they want to move away from um, whatever deception uh, has happened between you two. Maybe this person also has difficulty expressing their truth, expressing emotions. King of Swords can be too much in the head and not enough in the heart. Sometimes King of Swords also can be a flake. Maybe this person, you know, they say the right things, but then they don't follow through. Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of stress here. We've got the Ace of Wands. They do want to come in. They want to reignite passion with you, but there's a lot of burdens. Ten of Wands because there's regrets. Five of Cups. Let's get specifics on this person just to clarify. What is this person's feelings and intentions? Six of Cups. They want to reconcile with you, Sag. Um, what is this person's feelings and intentions now towards Sag? Okay, nine of swords, stress, anxiety. This person could be having trouble sleeping. Queen of wands. So you're coming up like a queen of wands, Sag. Um, you're coming up as very independent. You're coming up as very sexy, very attractive because maybe you're in this sort of really confident energy. You're sort of with or without you and eight of pentacles. They want to put work or effort into the connection, Saggy. Eight of wands, there you go, double eight of wands. So this person, they're coming in fast, they want to communicate, um, they want to move this ahead and they want to communicate their feelings, king of cups, okay? So this person, I feel they want to show you that they're invested in you emotionally, they want to tell you something about 
how they feel, and they want to reignite passion. Double Ace of Wands energy, okay? They know you're at a crossroads, Two of Wands, or some kind of a decision needs to be made um, on the path forward. And they have a lack of clarity on how this will move ahead. Eight of Swords, I feel like this person is stressed. They're in their head. They're not sure. They're not sure how this is how this will move forward. Um, there's also a sense of how do I fix this? Eight of Swords can be a bit like my hands are tied. Two of Swords, again, lack of clarity. A decision needs to be made. Death card, two of pentacles, back and forth. Is this over or is this a death for a rebirth? Okay, we had the two of pentacles over there. So back and forth kind of thing. Um, five of cups, a lot of sadness and regrets here. So we've got double five of cups. So this person's thinking about everything and they're thinking that they regret their, their actions or their decisions. Um, and they want to show you that they're solid. King of swords, emperor card. Some of you are dealing with a husband and a father figure, but this is someone that wants to you know, take control of a situation. Um, and the King of Swords, like I said, speak a truth. Sometimes the Emperor and the King of Swords can be a little bit reckless with their words. They can be a bit of a tyrant. So um, they feel like you are guarded and standoffish, Seven of Wands, but they wanna offer you a recommitment or something solid and committed. We've got King and Queen of Swords. So expect a conversation, Sagittarius. Honest conversation, I think there's an opportunity to either move forward um, or move on. We've got the world card. So this is the completion of a cycle. Um, so you will have to decide, but this is definitely someone that wants some kind of a second chance with you and um, an honest conversation. Let's get a couple of romance angels. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this is some kind of a soul connection. There could be some lessons that are being learned in this connection. Maybe that's why there's a lot of challenges. Um, keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So there could be a lot of differences between the two of you as well. Um, or perhaps you're looking to other opportunities, Sag, and, and Spirit saying keep an open mind because your soulmate may be different to what you imagine, okay? Engagement, your love life is, is ascending to a high level of commitment. Okay, so this Ace of Pentacles can mean engagement. It's something committed. So I do feel like, you know, if you were committed to this person, this is like a recommitment. Um, otherwise, Spirit is saying to you that there could be someone else coming in that really wants to commit to you. Um, it could lead to an engagement. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you could be hypervigilant about red flags given what's gone on here. Um, though be open um, and make a decision based on the energy, right? Don't go into the conversation with preconceived ideas because I do feel like this person wants to kind of show you that they want to put effort in. Um, but make the right decision for you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. There you go. Um, so do make the decision that's right for you. Love yourself first, Sag. Um, and yeah, I hope that that was helpful and that it resonated. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said. And I'll check in with you guys in two weeks' time. Lots of love.